Taser, 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 taser. Send like a 21, I got one running from me down the highway, dispatch. Uh, well, now you're going to jail. Hey. Ow. 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 Hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Why is there an ambulance involved in this chase? Tackle him. He did it. Put him into a pole. We got him. Send like a 21 rollover crash my location dispatch. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. Today we are headed out with the Los Santos Police Department. This will probably be the last time that we use the uh, Phoenix Police Department based skins. I'll be switching out for something else here soon. Also going to switch out the uh, Blaine County vehicles and probably uniforms here soon to, um, to check out Ripple's new Enforce pack, which I'll probably do next episode. So, uh, yeah, I'm um, going to keep these skins around so I can bring them back at some point because they are really cool looking on some really cool vehicles. But anyway, it's going to be a pretty normal day. We're going to take calls, we're going to do traffic, and we're going to see what we get into. So let's go ahead and get started. We have in Pillbox Hill. Suspect is on foot. Yeah, we'll head down there. 10 4, copy that. All right, so we're looking for a male suspect uh, wanted for wire fraud. All right, we're going to go down the wrong way here. Just to get there a little faster. Whoops. Sorry. Hey, we need to grab a beer together, man. Looks like he's right over there somewhere. So let's go ahead and uh, turn a corner here. And then we'll turn our lights on and head right down here. There he is right there. I got the guy right here, dispatch. Hey, come here! Come right here, dude. That. Come here, stop. Stop. Floor, Show me your hands, man. Show me your hands. Oh, hey! Get back here, dude! <laughs> Get your ass back here. I got one running, dispatch. Stay on the ground. Give it up, man. Stay on the ground. Stay on I told you to stay on the ground. Lay the fuck back down. Do it now. Lay down. Don't move. Check up for Ken Lincoln 21. Roger okay. that. Suspect placed under arrest. You can cancel checks. Roger that. Show one in custody. Show one in custody. Copy that. All right, I'm gonna get him back to my car, and then we'll be right back. So yeah, he had uh, he had two options. He could run away, or he could run towards me, and he took the third option of the up way out. <laughs> I've never seen a suspect do that. That's amazing. All right, man. Why'd you uh? Why'd you take off running from me, man? Am I free to go? Nah, dude. You're under arrest. Even if you didn't have a warrant, which you do, you'd be under arrest now because you took off running from me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to court of law. You have right to an attorney. An affordable to be appointed to the state of San Andreas. You understand your rights? Sure. Okay. All right, man. So you have anything illegal on you, buddy? No, sir. You do not. Okay. All right. Well, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. Turn around. Yeah, look at that. Love the dash cam. This dash cam's mounted really high. Alright. So what we got here. He's got recently reported stolen Ruger Red Hawk, a severed ring finger, a Los Santos postcard, and a broken iFruit phone. Okay, we do have the right guy here. Dude. What? And I, I need to figure out a way to phrase a question for things like the severed ring finger. The best I've got right now is... You want to tell me about this stuff I found on you? Okay, well, he's claiming the finger, so... Okay. I don't know what I'm going to charge him with for that. I'll figure something. I'll probably just felonious assault. Um, let's see here. I don't have a where to get this from or anything like that. Do we have anything we can use to kind of simulate that? Um, no? No, not really. No, we really don't. Okay. All right, well, what about this gun, man? What's the deal with this gun, man? Does this gun belong to you? Fuck you, I want my lawyer. Okay, that just tells me it doesn't belong to you. So where'd you get it from? Found it in a garbage can in the <laughs> apartment. Sure he did. Well, he might have, actually. All right. Okay, cool. All right, well, he's under arrest, so let's go ahead and, uh, whoops. 
Ah, something wanted to let me. There we go. Come on, man. He looks like the kind of dude who do some wire fraud. All right, man. Have a seat. That's gonna pretty much do it for him. We'll hop in and check his record. I want to see if it actually generated a warrant for him or not. All right. Hang on a minute. 10 like a 21. I want to be out with another one dispatch. Hey, Meth Brigade. Come here, man. Come with me. Since you just decided you wanted to take a stroll off the street or right across the street and block traffic, you can walk over here. Hang out with me for a minute. All right. Stand right there. Don't move. Deal with him in a second. No, it didn't generate a warrant for him, so it must be something that's not in our system. It must be something federal, which wire what wire fraud really would be. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to charge him with. I'll probably just charge him with a felony one of some sort or a federal charge that is closest to that. Um, so yeah, all right. Let's deal with this other guy now. Let me see your ID. Could you please show me your ID? So the reason we're out Thank here you. talking, dude, is because your ass was just kind of strutting across Strawberry there. I saw you blocking traffic. You damn near got hit by a car, dude. What are you doing out here, man? I don't even want to look over there. No way, I'm not answering. You're not going to answer what you're doing out here? Okay, man, that's fine. He does have a handgun permit. I know it said long gun. I just don't care. I think that's dumb. Let's see if I can show a handgun permit. Do you have your weapon on you? I'm not saying anything without my look. Okay, man, well, you're not under arrest, but because you may have a weapon on you, I am going to go ahead and patch you down. So turn around, put your hands up on your head for me. It's a crazy day down here in the city today. You got on you, man. He's got a chocolate bar, a purse, a seat, a plane ticket, device, city, and a movie ticket stub. This is Jonathan Strauss. You even have your weapon on you, man. Why are you being a shithead? So, all right, let's see here. Um, okay. All right, dude, hang out right here for me. Probably just gonna write him a ticket. Unless he has a warrant or something. Let's see. He doesn't. All right. 19 years old. So he can't really have a concealed handgun permit. He's 19, but whatever. Um, all right, let's write him a ticket. There we go. Done and done. All right, man. Since you wanted to be an asshole, I wrote you a ticket for jaywalking today. Uh, I am going to go ahead and issue this ticket here. You need to sign this for me. If you don't sign for me, I'm going to take you into custody. Uh, you do need to take care of the citation or there will be a warrant issued for your arrest. Do you understand? All right, man. Do you understand what I just explained to you? Yes, officer. Okay. All right, man. Well, with that being said, then you are free to go. You have a good day. Go on, you idiot. Get out of here. Yeah, basically Shoot. that. All right. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this idiot as well as uh, our guy who had a warrant. So let's go ahead and uh, just take care of that, and then we'll get back out there. Hey, get on. Help. 10 Lincoln 21. Show me 10 7. Copy that. This dude just hit that guy. And then kept going. Got my, my back lights. I'm going to wait to light him up till this light changes, but 10 Lincoln 21 requesting plate check. All right, so it's a primo. X-ray Tom Adam 8717. Suspect's license plate. X-ray Tom Adam No flags on the vehicle. One. I'm gonna forgive him for that one. Is he running? I'm not gonna forgive him for that though. Tim Lincoln 21, I've got one refusing to stop. 10-4, copy that. Yeah, that's not what I wanted, but alright. Disregard. 10-4, 10, Lincoln 21. Alright, here we go. Let's get the LS lock on. Let's get some backup involved here. We are north on Little Bighorn. Uh, we're turning left onto uh, Center's Passage. And it looks like we're going right again on Center Street. Dispatch, we got eyes on the perp. Unit trying to block him there. Good job, good job there, LSPD unit. We're heading into the tunnel on Integrity now. Good pit, great pit. Wrecked himself out, but it was a good pit. You have no out. Get your gun out. Come on. Out of the car, LSPD, right now. Get out of that car. Get out of that car right now. He's going to pull him out. He's going to pull him out. Dispatch. 10 like a 21, we got him stopped in the tunnel, dispatch. Roger Go to your knees, man. Go to your knees right now. 21. This crossfire is terrible. 
I got you covered. I got you covered, man. Make the arrest. You're covered. You're covered. It's in like a 21. Show one in custody. Copy that. All right, we're going to have the tunnel closed here, dispatch. I'll cover you. Roger. 10, Lincoln, 21. That's All right, crazy. man. I know why he ran. All right, so we know why you ran, man. But just to see what he says. All right, dude, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. The right to an attorney, if you can afford one, will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand your rights? That's not what I want. Do you understand your rights? No, explain, please. Okay, so basically, you don't have to answer any questions without your attorney present from this point forward, okay? So keep that in mind when I ask you, why did you run from me? I wasn't running. You and I both know that. Oh, I know. I do know you were running because you hit that guy back there on Center Street, and then you kept going. Okay, there we go. He, he stopped finally. And then you and then you kept going. And then when I turned around and lit you up, you took off. And then here you are. You wrecked out in the tunnel because we got you stopped. So why did you do that? Why'd you keep going, man? My crew is going to fuck you up, you piece of shit. Oh, okay. It's like that. So you think threatening me is going to make this better? Okay, dude. Is this your vehicle? Belongs to your brother? Okay, is he aware that you have it? Your brother wouldn't care if he was using it. Wow, look how serendipitous that was. All right, man, well, how long have you had possession of it? A year or two? He don't care that you've been using this car for a whole two years? Damn. Okay, that's a nice brother, man. That's a real nice brother, man. You got anything illegal on you? Don't you have to, like, read me my rights or something? I did, like, read you your rights, dude. Anything illegal in the vehicle? There isn't? Okay. All right, man, now he's getting all respectful. All right, dude, turn around. We'll patch you down. Don't do anything dumb, okay? This guy over there needs to stop revving his engine and blow himself up. Looks like he's having a fucking seizure. This guy's got a pill bottle full of 8 milligrams of boxing pills, a bottle of ibuprofen, some loose change, several spent cigarette butts, a legitimate Los Angeles Police Department badge, and a grocery list. This is Dylan Comics. This is his car. Alright, so we're just waiting for his ID to come up. Sometimes it takes it a minute for his ID to come up. I don't know why it does that. There it is. No? No, no, that, that was just the narcotic information. So, so Stop the Pad did update for uh, people in the Discord. Um, so if you're not in uh, if you're not in the Stop the Pad you know, Discord, you need to be. Um, but uh, it's going to have a lot of the same features that uh, Interaction Plus does now with the, uh, with the um, reagent testing and the field sobriety tests and whatnot. So hopefully we'll get a chance to use some of those here. I'm going to go ahead and cut away while I wait for his ID to come up, and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so the game is most definitely bugged out because as you can see, he is cuffed in the front. Um, it still has not popped up his ID card. It's been several minutes, probably closer to 10. You can hear I'm on Discord in the background trying to report the bug. Um, I searched the car. Here, I'll show you. I, I, I searched the car, and uh, it did this. So, yeah. So I don't know what a, a business is. But that's what he's got in his car. So I just wanted you guys to see that because I'm going to go ahead and cut away from this, restart the game, find somebody else to throw his charges on, and then we're going to get back out there. Attention all units. We have yeah, we'll a domestic that. disturbance in Rancho. Units respond code 2. It's in Lincoln 21. Show me responding. All right, well, since we're sitting here in traffic. Oops, that's not the computer I want. This is the computer I want. Apparently, I forgot to set a background for this. Let's see what we got. Call details. Dispatch to 911 call from the apartment complex on Innocence Boulevard. Caller says they are that. Yeah, caller says they are the tenant at this residential property and are being harassed by the landlord, who is also on scene. Please attend the scene and try to avoid any escalation. Okay. Whoops, I didn't need any help. All right. Let's go ahead and get down there. So I know it said respond code 2, but we also know that I'm going to run lights because nobody wants to watch me drive normally for five minutes until we get on the scene, so. Yeah, dude, just keep going. It's cool. Lucky I'm on a call. Alright. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on scene dispatch. Copy that. I heard someone say you're an asshole up there. Start me a second unit. Assistance required on Just in um, case. Roy Lowenstein Boulevard. Fuck off, loser. Copy that, dispatch. Yeah. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna need is for both of you to calm the hell down. Here. I don't wanna hear any more of this. this, this. Hey. Come on. Oops, I didn't mean to grab him. Well, Dios mio. I want you to stand over here, okay? Backup for Ken, Lincoln, 21. Okay. Stand right there, I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? You cover! Hey, dude. Fire. Hey. Alright, dude, I'm gonna need you to calm the hell down for me, okay? We have that, we just never use it. Uh, I'm gonna need you to calm down, dude, okay? Man, fuck you. No, not fuck me. You're gonna get messed up if you wanna keep running your mouth. What's going on out here, man? What's the situation, man? He called out the he called out the crappiest contractor you can find to fix my AC. Okay. All right, well let's calm down, dude. Stupid man. I'm not stupid, or maybe I am, but that's really not a uh, that's really not germane to the conversation right now. See, I used a big word. Uh, have you called? Why have you called emergency services for this? Because it's this is daylight robbery. Okay. All right, man. Um, just hang out. Let me see your ID, dude. Let's see some ID, huh? Why would you run? Why would you run? Yeah, get out of damn stairs. I totally didn't kick him down the stairs. Moron! Why would you run? You complete fucking moron! Lay down. 10 link of 21, show one in custody. Copy that. Don't need the shotgun, that's for sure. What a fucking dumbass! Dude. Check up for Ken, Lincoln, you can cancel checks. Mm -hmm. You can cancel checks. Dude, are you? You can cancel checks. There we go. Dude, are you? Are you fucking stupid? Yeah, I know you're not resisting Wait, now since say? you fell down the fucking stairs, dude. Why would you try to run? That's so stupid. Fuck your dog, fuck your mother, most of all, fuck you, you piece of shit. Okay! Alright, man. Well, uh, I'm gonna need you to- I'm gonna need you to knock that kind of shit off, dude. Alright, why'd you run from me? Just book me, no need to talk. Alright, well, you're gonna get booked for disorderly conduct, too. Just sit your stupid ass down right here. I said sit the fuck down, dude. Alright. Hey, oh if he gets God. up again, knock him down. Oh, I don't know what that guy's problem is. Anyway, hi, how you doing? All right, man. I'm sorry about that. So what's uh what's 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 going on, man? I had the tenant call me up angry and upset about a repair. I just came down to speak with him in person. Okay. All right, man. Well, listen. Uh. Okay. All right, dude. Well, listen. Can I uh? Can I see your ID? Let's see some ID, huh? I swear to God, if he tries to. What are you doing? What are you doing? But <laughs> okay, you can. Well, you know what? You can both go to jail. What in the absolute hell? And she's like, I don't want to live here anymore. When a freaking landlord... Alright, here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm walking on his back. Here we go. We're good. You can cancel that second unit dispatch. Thank you. Nah, dude, you're the real MVP of this scene. I swear. Dude. Dude. Why? Why did you... Why did you run off? To get away. Well, you didn't. You fell down the stairs just like your tenant did. I, I guess you guys can share a jail cell, too. What the fuck, man? I mean, are you... Are you fucking... Are, that, that was so dumb. You better watch yourself, man. They'll be coming for you. Ain't nobody come for me, dude. You're fucking stupid. Talk shit, get whipped. And you gonna whip me in cuffs? All right, shithead. You got anything illegal on you? you want your lawyer. Yeah, I bet you want your fucking lawyer. Turn around. That's cool. You want to lawyer up, man. That's fine. I don't care. Fucking moron. We got nothing on him. All right, Dennis Lancer. I think you just got downgraded from landlord to slumlord. Come on, dude. I'm gonna put him in your car. I'll take the mouthy one. All right, man. Have a seat. Another unit come by to make sure we're okay. I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's get this idiot up now. He probably a lot of times this is a Peter U call. A lot of times they don't have anything on them, so which is kind of upsetting, but it is what it is. All right, dude, get up. Do you have anything legal on you? Might have some pills. Okay, all right, dude. 
pat you down. Then. I'll go up and lock his apartment for him. I'll, I'll be that nice. He's got nothing. All right, Thomas Smith. All right, I'm on Thomas Smith. All right, so they're both going for resisting. Actually, no, they're both going for obstruction. Uh, he's going for disorderly conduct as well. Um, Hello. I I don't I don't think there's anything else to charge either of them with. They're all going for misdemeanors, really. Let's check. Uh, let's check some records here. All right, so Dennis has some criminal charges, uh, providing underage or underage alcohol purchase. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna treat that as oh, he is 18. How is he 18 years old and a landlord? That's that's one success. You know what? I bet his dad is the landlord or his mom, and he just came down as like their representative, and that's why he acted like such a freaking moron. Also involuntary manslaughter. Just throwing that out there. Uh, and then Thomas Smith is our tenant. He's 22, and he's got quite the record as well. OVI and possession of criminal tools. So all right, so we, okay, so they're both shitheads. That's 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 really all. That's really that's really all there is to it. Well, they're both they're both shitheads, and they're both going to jail. So all right, well that's gonna pretty much do it for that for that scene there. Uh, I think we got time for one more, so let's get back out there. Dispatch to all central units. Citizens reporting an indecent exposure okay. in uh, Little Soul. Turned around here. That's what it initially wanted me to do, so. Let's go see what's going on with this. Kind of a kind of far off here, so we'll head down that way. Hoping we actually get to use the new stop the pet features. I couldn't find anybody drunk to pull over, which is surprising. Usually we get them all the time. Because it's not a highway patrol episode, that's why. Alright. Ten like a twenty when you can show me in the area dispatch. Roger that. Looks like it's in the metro, maybe? Alright, let's get turned around here. It is under us, so alright, well let me just leave my let me just leave my stage twos on. Alright, let's walk down here and see what's going on. It looks like it's definitely under us. Yeah, definitely under us. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna walk down there and uh there. They're under us, but I can talk to them. Anyway, I'm going to walk down there, and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm pretty sure... Our, I, I went ahead and canceled checks. I'm pretty sure we're almost there. They are right here, I do believe. I believe it's this female right here. Hello? Can you tell me what you saw? So they, the cars keep, like, stopping, and they go over to them and, like, flash their bits, you know? I think that might be, like, a prostitute. Isn't that gross? Uh, I think you might be on drugs, ma'am, because we're underground. So they can't, like, be going over and, like, stopping the car. Um, can you point out the person that you saw? The scumbag right over there? That female right there? Okay. Well, hey, Stay listen. There. Um, Stay there. You have your ID on you? Could you please show me your ID? Are you going to run? Yes, you are. Everybody's running. <laughs> she also totally didn't. I, I totally didn't throw her down the stairs, guys. I swear to God. Stop. Don't even do it. Lady, I'll throw you down these stairs again. I wasn't kidding. Don't you move! Oh god, she hit her head and everything. Oh god, god there's blood everywhere. Oh. Uh, Ten Lincoln 21 requesting medical assistance. Ambulance. She gonna need a medic to look at her. In little soul. <laughs> oh Jesus, lady, you're under arrest. All I wanted to do you're was see your ID. Now. I have every right to ask you for your ID. Just wanted a fucking statement. My god. Of course, I do think yeah, I do think she's on drugs. Quite honestly. Hey, you're looking. I'm here. Your safety is important to us. Surveillance cameras are posted. No uh, sit down. All right. Hello. Hold up. So there's the new field. There's the field sobriety test. So it's there. Um. Okay. Let's do this though. What do you have to say for yourself? Mumbles incoherently, apparently drunk. Okay, so we've got two winners here. All right. Now I will use I will Hello. use interaction plus just to get the read on them. Because um, sometimes I'll be honest, sometimes I miss the stop the pet interaction. So maybe you. if we could get a button to get the interactions, like like to get the. Uh, it does appear to be Alexandria uh, Jamon Jamon Jamon. 
Anyway, maybe we could get like an action to reshow the observations. That'd be great. Okay, so let's just go through these because we're here. Just questioner. Uh, you want to take a uh, field sobriety test for me? Okay, yeah, you love games. Well, that's great. Well, we're going to do all three here. The first thing I want you to do is, uh, let's see here. The pet is being tested. So there. Okay, no, she's going to run. Guess who is good. If I, can, if I can get on the stair. Okay, she's coming back. Nope. Hands in the air, now. I need to check my settings because I feel like everyone's resisting a lot now. Go to your knees. Put your hands on your head. I think we're like... Oh, and whatever for people resisting this episode. Turn around. But I think the only guy who didn't resist was the, uh, was the, uh, the Jaywalker earlier. And I'll be honest with you, I was on the old version of Stop the Ped when that happened. 10 Lincoln 21, show me 1015. Copy that. I've got several in custody down here, dispatch. Roger that. 10 right. Lincoln 21. If I call, no, you know what? If I call for female officers, she'll never find us down here. Is there anything illegal on you? Don't you have to like, read, read, read me my rights? Yeah, but not to ask you that. You are under arrest, though. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to court of law. Right to an attorney. You can afford one to be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas to understand your rights? No. Then why would you ask me if I could read you your rights? You're, 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 you're wrong. We'll pat you down now. Good lord. What a day. She has a picture of the Union Depository with a note in a foreign language, a dollar pills receipt, a picture of the subject with known Armenian gangsters, a speed loader containing five forty five long colt rounds, and a membership card for the Los Santos Gun Club. What's the story with this picture? I'm meeting a guy there, I always take a picture of the place so I don't forget. Okay, well I mean when you're an alcoholic, that probably helps. Uh where is the uh where's the gun? Got ammo, where's the gun? You had one, but you ditched it? Okay. Did you, uh... Did you ditch it when you took off from me? It's not an answer. Did you ditch it when you took off from me? Nope. Okay, alright. Now there goes my tampering with evidence charges. Um, let's see here. So we didn't get to do any of the field sobriety stuff on her. I'm gonna go find us a drunk person. So that's upsetting. Um... Hopefully next episode I can get that under control because they just, they're just just not cooperating with me this episode. So anyway, alright. Um, so that's going to be it for her. Let's go ahead and stand this chick up. Hop up. Uh, you're also under arrest in case I didn't make that clear. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be using it to a lie right to an attorney. It's going to be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Alright, very good. Do you, uh, do you require medical assistance? Your chest hurts? Okay, I, I would think it'd be your head that hurt, since that's what you whacked on the railing on the way down, which, if you hadn't run, that wouldn't happen to you. you have anything illegal on you? I want your lawyer. Okay. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pat her down. Let's see here. She has a Lachine receipt, a blood glucose kit, a Hawaiian snow receipt, a baggie containing unknown brown powder, a pack of debonair cigarettes, and a picture of an unknown male aged 10 to 13 taken from a distance. Okay. Who's in this picture? What picture are you talking about? The picture of this male right here. Like, uh, alright lady, whatever. What's this, uh, what's this powder? I'm not saying anything else about my lawyer. Okay. Alright. Well, let's do this real quick. I think it's... Yep. That's not it. Is it? Uh. Nope. Okay, well, hold on. There you go. Normal game speed. I don't remember what the key combination for. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's check some records right quick. Alright, so she's got a warrant for felony. Is it level one? Yeah, felony one complicity. Okay. And then Elizabeth Murray is valid and clear. So, all right, well, I'm going to get these two charged, and then uh, I'll get back to the car, and then we're going to do the court thing. Okay. So, I'm just going to ignore the fact that those guys are down there fighting. Um, one th I didn't charge Elizabeth yet, because she did have that brown powder on her, and we can now do the uh, narcotics field test from the vehicle here. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. 
That was neat. It had a neat little animation for opening the trunk and everything. So we got a baggie containing a brown powder substance. So it takes the red item from your list that has the name in it and puts it in there for you. So that's really cool. You don't have to type it in. All right, so we're going to hit it with the... Uh, uh, this is a test kit for marijuana. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, the mayor reagent. Tests for uh, cocaine, powder, or crystal. This is a test kit for heroin, the Merkel re uh, Meckel. Uh, we've got the uh, the mandolin reagent for uh, meth methamphetamine or PCP. And it looks like it won't let us do any of these. So that's, yeah, pill, tablet, capsule, or liquid. Uh... That's LSD. None of those fit the bill. So it looks like it looks for the word that it wants, and you can test based on that. So go ahead and test it for cocaine first. It was brown, so it could be cocaine. So he's got his got to own our own little animation there. Looks like it did test negative for cocaine. Let's test for heroin. Man, they're just going at it down there. That test positive for heroin. Ten like a twenty-one. Start me a second unit for a fight out here, dispatch. Assistance needed on Okay, a so San yeah, it looks Avenue. like um okay, so it looks like it is heroin. So I can now go ahead and charge In her fact, for that. I'm gonna get out of here and deal with these idiots. Dispatch, we have the suspect inside. Stop. Disregard. Why are we shooting? Why are we shooting? I got this guy. Stay with the other guy, I got this one. And taser, taser, taser. Got him. Don't you this is almost move. the same area I did that in the opening, too. Hopefully the other cop has the other guy. Get on the ground, dude. No, the other cop's up here with me. Come on, dude, get up. Let's go. So we got some bonus. We got a bonus scene here for these two idiots fighting. Is he a Vinewood cop? You're a Vinewood mine or now. All right, maybe we can do it with this guy. We can take their cuffs off and try, but he'll probably run. The only reason I'm gonna take their cuffs off and try, come on, dude, is because um, I want to do the, I want to do the, uh, the animations, the uh, the field party animations, if I can. So he looked like he might have been under the influence. All right, dude, come on. This one also you has some narcotic or some, some some narcotic indications. Hop up, dude. I did just leave those two women down in the uh, subway. They're just standing there cuffed. I honestly thought that uh, I was done after this, but uh, game decided otherwise. All right, man. We'll start. We'll start with this guy. What are you guys out here fighting for? Uh, what are you guys right. out here fighting for? He was talking shit about my mom. Okay, man. I fight a guy. Over my, I'd fight a guy for talking shit over my mom too, man. But you got anything illegal on you? Might have a pipe on you. Okay, dude. All right. You've been using narcotics. You hate drugs? Okay, but you appear to be under the influence of drugs, so... What drugs did you hate have you used? You smoked some meth? Okay. Alright, dude. I'll tell you what. Uh, do you want to take a field sobriety test for me? Oops. Let's get sent. Let's get this over with. Alright, I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'm gonna take your handcuffs off. Oops, I wanted him to stay, actually. I bet I can stop him. Hopefully. You're not even worth it. Okay. No, 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 you Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Stay there. Stop. Stay there. Thank you. All right, dude. First thing we're going to do then is we're going to do the walk and turn test. What I want you to do is take nine steps forward, heel to toe, then turn around and come back. We do the same thing. Okay. So, let's see here. He's, I mean, obviously he's not doing heel to toe, but at the same time, you really can't. Current body cam on. Hope that wasn't on when she fell down the stairs. Anyway, but you really can't. I, I bet you really can't get an animation to do that. He failed. Should walk straight, heel to toe, with hands on the side. Okay, so he kind of did, but not really. Okay, th so that was cool. All right, man. So we're going to do the one legged stand now. So I want you to put your arms out to your side and stand on one leg for a uh, 10 count for me, okay? Man. There you go. This first person shit sucks. Sorry. Stop. Stop. All right, yeah, I got to work on those, uh, deal with him while I pat this other guy down. You have the right to shut the hell I'll get that worked out for the next episode. Turn around, dude. Okay, 
Okay, so this guy has uh, a grocery list, an ace liquor receipt, a liquor ace receipt, a prolapse receipt, and a legitimate FIB badge. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't think I ever asked the other guy about his badge. I don't think I got a, I think I got a chance to. Um, why do you have this badge? Belongs to your wife. Okay. Well, your wife's gonna be real pissed. What the hell is this guy's name? Conjure something? What the fuck? All right, whatever. Um, all right, let me pat this guy down. Idiot, dude. He's actually getting charged with escape now. Um, so it'll be misdemeanor escape because he was under detention for a misdemeanor. But still, it's more charges for you, dipshit. I had a, burn, uh, a bit of burned tin foil with brown residue, a can of peach snuff, a phone number for Tracy DeSanto written on a vanilla unicorn napkin, a map of the city of Los Santos, and a picture of several Los Antecas gang members taken from a distance. Okay. What's the story with this picture, my man? Oops. Who's this picture? It's a friend from high school? Alright, what's the story with the picture, though? You meeting a girl there? You meeting a girl with some Los Antecas? Alright, man, cool. Hang out right there. So I want to go see... I might have to redo my items now that, um... This is the way it is. I want to see if it picked that up or not. See if it picked up. Oh, I didn't mean, did not mean to request animal control. Alright, here we go. Alright. Yeah, it did. A baggie containing brown. Nope, that's the brown powder substance from before. So, alright. Yeah, so residue isn't a key word either. So I'll just have to go change residue to powder residue and then it'll pick it up. So, Okay. Well, then, I guess I'm going to get these idiots charged now, too. And then we're actually going to be done. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Well, that was one hell of a crazy day, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and do this court thing. Um, we've got quite a few. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine now. I think that might be a record. So uh, Johann Strauss was our jaywalker. And uh, he was fined $24. Uh, I think I accidentally revealed these two on accident. Because uh, this was the guy we arrested for his warrant. Which I think is what was for wiretapping. But I didn't have that. But I looked it up. And possession of counterfeit currency is about the same. So you see, he's doing 20 years in 5 months. Um, 7 years for having a weapon and a disability. Because he had a warrant and a gun. I think he had a Colt Python or something. Uh, receiving stolen property. Because uh, it was a stolen gun, I think. Or something, he had something stolen on him. Resisting rescue took off from us. Obstruction for same. And then felonious assault for a reason that I don't quite remember. I, oh, it didn't have some, a, a severed finger or something on him? And I think that's why? Okay, cool. So, uh, Jimmy Carson. Uh, we ended up getting him for uh, OVI first events. That's the dude who, uh, that's the dude who took off running from us. That I had to, I had to load back into the game and, uh charge someone else. So OVI first defense. Uh, fel felony failure to stop after an accident because he was he could be reasonably aware that someone was injured but not seriously injured. It'd be a felony three, I think, if they were seriously injured. Um, after he struck someone with his vehicle and didn't stop. So there's that. Uh, aggravated vehicular assault. It's aggravated assault because he was intoxicated. Um, failure to comply with signal of an officer at an F3 as usual and then also aggravated possession of drugs for the Suboxone, which actually that might have been a misdemeanor. I think Sabox is a Schedule 4, but whatever. Fuck it, he can have the fel he can have the felony in his seven years in prison. Also, his license is suspended for, like, ever. What is that? That That's basically five years. That's two more years, and that's three months. So, like, it's like seven years and three months. So that's great. Uh, Dennis Lancer was the landlord from the landlord-tenant dispute where both parties went to jail, which I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Uh, failure to disclose personal information and obstruction. He's going to do a month, which is fine. I, I, Like I said, I'm assuming he was not the landlord since he's 18 years old. I'm assuming he's the he's the child or employee, or maybe he's just the muscle the slumlord hired. Who knows? If he's muscle, he sucks at it, though. Thomas Smith was the tenant. We ended up charging him with disorderly conduct, misuse of 911, because that was a 911 call that he placed. Uh, failure to disclose personal information and obstruction of official business. So he is going to receive a fine for the misuse. You can't actually be jailed for a minor misdemeanor. But he'll also be doing a month, and he'll be on probation when he gets out. I don't think... Was Dennis on... No, he was on probation. Okay. They both are going to do a month. Maybe they'll do it together. Maybe they'll work out their differences. Alexandria Jamone was the... Uh, so we charged her with a misconduct on public transportation system. She was the one with the warrant. She was the accused indecent person, though we don't. I don't think she actually was. Failure to disclose personal information, uh, obstruction of official business, and uh, complicity. That was the warrant. 
Should we do in nine years and three months? Um, and then Elizabeth Murray, who I think was, you know, on this heroin and causing her to see things, which I don't think is a usual property for heroin, but whatever, um, called us and said that she was walking up to cars and um, showing her bits off. And I'd like to know how she was doing that when we were like three stories or three levels underground in the metro station, so whatever. Anyway, we charged her with misuse of 911, uh, misconduct in public transportation system, uh, obstruction of official business, and possession of heroin under one gram. He, so he's, she's going to do 10 months, which is fine with me. Uh, Mark Gregory ended up charging him with disorderly conduct, misdemeanor assault, and M1 escape. The reason he got M1 escape is he didn't actually run when we first tased him. He surrendered then and then ran after we had him under detention, which means it's going to be escape instead of resisting. It's a misdemeanor one instead of a misdemeanor two. Uh, possession of heroin, I'm just going to assume that's what the brown powder was, and then uh, possession of drug abuse instruments. And he's doing no time for any of that. Amazing. Um, he's only doing probation. Now, this guy's going to get the book, though, Adam. This guy, freaking Coacher Sutherland, is is the same thing, basically. Assault and sort of the conduct. Uh, person, a uh, peace officer for the FIB badge he had on him, and then also uh, obstruction of official business. And he's going to do two months. So, yeah, that's humorous that Mark Gregory there didn't get any time, and he got two months. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. I'm going to go work on, uh, one, the resistance probabilities, because they're too damn high. And two, uh, getting some of my items renamed because I'm going to get rid of the whole residue thing since uh, that no longer is going to work. So awesome new update for Stop the Ped, though. Uh, if you guys, you know, as soon as it's available, y'all need to get it. I was, I'm was, i really honored to be in the Discord and get a chance to test that out and kind of show it off, even though we didn't get to show most of it off because nobody wanted to cooperate today. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Looking forward to reading your comments. Hope to see everybody on Discord, mine, and, uh, and the, uh, the Stop the Ped Discord. And as always, y'all stay safe out there.